There are three main questions that we should be asking about every variant that's emerging, and these three questions are yet unanswered for Omicron. One is, is it more contagious? It appears in South Africa that it is more contagious than the Delta variant, although we don't know for certain how this is going to be in places like the U.S. where we have a lot of Delta already circulating. And if something is more contagious, it could take over and become the dominant variant my name is Dr. Lena Wen. I'm an emergency physician and also a public health professor at George Washington University. The second question, is it more virulent? Does it cause more severe disease? Only time is going to be able to tell that piece of information. The third is, do our existing therapies, our medications, and also our vaccines, are they effective against this variant? It seems to contain more mutations than before, at least 50 mutations identified thus far, and therefore there is a concern that it could evade the immune protection of existing vaccines and therapies. There was the first case that was detected in early mid-November in Botswana. The sample was sequenced in South Africa. And unfortunately now it appears that Omicron is spreading in large numbers and is driving a surge in South Africa. However, it's since been found in a number of other countries around the world. All we have are anecdotal reports from Southern African physicians who I need to say have been exceptional in how they have alerted the world to be on the lookout for Omicron. Patients experiencing fatigue, just feeling run down, a scratchy sore throat. Of course, Omicron could progress to more severe illness, but right now many of the cases being reported tend to be mild. There is a particular signal in Omicron that will show up in the PCR test, but we need more research to fully understand whether the rapid at-home antigen test will also pick up Omicron as well as it's picked up on other variants. Thankfully, the same things that we would use to protect us from Delta would also protect us from Omicron. One is if you are not yet vaccinated, please get vaccinated now. Second is get boosted if you have not already. Everyone needs to get a booster dose six months after Pfizer and Moderna or two months after Johnston Johnson that will also provide an additional level of protection. And the third is take common sense precautions. If you are in indoor crowded spaces, please wear a mask, ideally a KN95, N95 or KF94. If you are going to do any form of international travel, stay flexible because there are a lot of countries that are imposing new restrictions, new quarantine requirements. You don't want to get stuck in a country on mandatory quarantine and not know it or not be able to enter because you didn't get a test that was added at the last minute. Travel restrictions are a blunt instrument. For example, we are forbidding foreign nationals from eight Southern African countries from entering, but Americans are still able to come back. I agree that Americans should be allowed to return to their home, but why not also ask that they quarantine and get tested upon arrival? We should not be surprised that there are new variants developing because that is what viruses do. The more replication occurs, meaning that the more hot spots that there are around the world, the more mutations we are going to see. And so this is the reason getting more people vaccinated is such an important goal. My hope is that we'll be able to live with COVID, understanding that it is going to be a threat that's going to be with us. However, we can live with this risk, just as we live with the risk of flying on an airplane or driving a car. But ultimately, vaccination is going to be our path to protect ourselves and to end the existential threat of this pandemic.